Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps with BehindTheGloves.com, and I am here with Dennis Duglin, who is fighting George Groves this Saturday, November the 22nd. How are we feeling? You, I'm an American, too, so I understand. Are you dealing with this this time change? Um, I handled the time change pretty well. We got here um, Monday morning, and um, I stayed up the whole day and went to bed at like around 11 o'clock. I think it got my clock pretty, pretty good. So I've been going to sleep at a decent hour, waking up at a decent hour, so the time change hasn't been an issue at all so far. How many days have you been here? Because I've been here for five days and I'm still suffering. <laughs> I've been, I think, um, I got here, we got here Monday, so, but we, we knew what we had to do. I got here, I was exhausted on Monday, but I forced myself to stay awake up until 11 o'clock that night, and I got a full night's sleep, got up um, Tuesday, like around 10 o'clock, so I've been pretty good. Got a good workout in, feel good. Damn, I'm kind of <laughs> jealous right now. <laughs> so you're fighting George Groves, he's a very tough opponent. What are you looking to prove against him Saturday night? Um, everything. Just that I'm, I'm ready to be a, a world title contender. I'm ready for a world title shot. And I'm um, getting past him proves that. I mean, he's a great fighter. Like I said, take nothing away from him. I came into his backyard, so I know I have a lot to prove. Um, close rounds are going to go to him. And I understand that. So I, I got to win, and I got to win big. So that's what we trained for. We didn't train for a close fight. We didn't train for a decision fight. We trained for a knockout. So, um, But with that being said, we also trained for 15 rounds of war. So 12 rounds, I'm going to be able to give him... The, the pressure I bring in the first round, I'm going to be able to do that for 12 rounds, and I'm excited to take them out. I was going to ask you about that because usually when you do go to someone's backyard, there's a lot of pressure to go for the knockout because if you take it to the cards, there's always the risk that they would get the hometown favor. Do you worry about that at all? Um, of course, um, we know we know we, we got to look for not look for a knockout, but we, we want the knockout to come in. Um, I got to box smart, look for the shots, and if I get the shots, I got to take the opportunity. I can't, I don't want the card, I don't want it to go to the judges. Um, I feel like I'm fighting in Texas. You can't win a close decision over there. You can't win a close decision over here. So I'm um, just trying to be smart and um, and get them out of there. I think I can too. Anthony Durrell is lined up to fight George Groves next if he gets past you. Do you plan on derailing those plans? A hundred percent. Um, I even think I heard an interview where he said that he wanted to fight somebody like me because all black fighters fight the same. So if he could beat me, he could beat Anthony Durrell. I think I heard something like that. Somebody told me something like that. So um, they're definitely looking past me to get to Anthony Durrell. But um, one, I fight nothing like Anthony Durrell, although he's a great fighter. And um, I'm definitely going to derail those plans. I want to fight Anthony Durrell. I want to be the champion. So I'm looking to get past him. And then Anthony, I'm coming for you too. Well, look, thank you. Um, I wish you nothing but the best come Saturday night. Do you have a Twitter account that you want to give a shout-out for the fans? Yes, definitely. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mama's Boy. It's D-A-M-O-M-M-A-S Boy. So follow me. Hit me up. Say hi. <laughs> Congratulations after Saturday. Everything. All right. Bye, Fight Fans.